Hey guys, today we are going to continue to look at arithmetic sequences. We're going to look at the explicit formula, which is more of the traditional type of formula that we are used to. So we're going to answer the question, what is the explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence and how can it be used? So remember, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers in which the common difference D between any two terms is constant. Just means you are adding or subtracting by the same number the whole time. So let's talk about an explicit formula. So an explicit formula of a sequence allows you to find any term in the sequence without having to compute the previous terms. You can just input the term number in the formula and it will output the term. So say you wanted the 13th term, you could input 13 and then it would output what the 13th term is. And this is how you use it to find any term, a n, you're going to take the first term and you're going to add n minus 1 and multiply it by the common difference. Um, another way I have seen the formula written is like this, a n equals d times n minus 1 plus a1. Remember, multiplication, the order doesn't matter, so we're just distributing the common difference here, but it doesn't matter if we write it in front or behind. And then Addition, the order doesn't matter either, so it does not matter if we put the first term first or this section first. Um, this is just the one that I'm going to use, but this is the same thing, just written in a different order. And the term number is n, that's what we're going to input. So if you wanted to find like the 13th term, you would plug in 13 for n. And then a1 is the first term, and then d is the common difference. So those are still the two things that we're going to need to write the formula. We will need d, the common difference, and we will need a1, the first term. And once we have those two things, we can write our formula. So let's go ahead and practice doing that. It wants us to write an explicit formula to represent the arithmetic sequence, and then we're going to simplify it, and then we will use the formula to find the 23rd term. So first term is easy to identify. That would be 7. So I'm going to put a1 equals 7. And then the common difference, I just need to figure out what we are adding by each time. So to go from 7 to 13, I would add 6. To go from 13 to 19, I would add 6, and to go from 19 to 25, I would add 6. So it looks like my common difference is 6. So now I can substitute in to this formula right here, a n equals a 1 plus n minus 1 times d. I'm going to write that down. To find any term, we take the first term, add it to n minus 1 times d. So now I'm going to substitute in 7 for a1 and 6 for the common difference. So the formula is a n equals the first term, which is 7, plus n minus 1 times the common difference of 6. And now I just need to simplify this. So I'm going to distribute just to what's inside the parentheses, and I get 7 plus n times 6 is 6n, and 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. And then I just need to combine like terms that 7 and negative 6 creates a positive 1. So now I'm just going to write our final formula, and it will be a n equals 6n plus 1. Now we are going to use the formula to find the 23rd term of the sequence. So let me rewrite it up here. A n equals 6 n plus 1. So it'll be A 23rd equals 6 times 23 plus 1. We just replace the term n with 23. And now I'm just going to type that into the calculator. 6 times 23 plus 1 is 139. So the 23rd term of the sequence is 139. An explicit formula to represent the arithmetic sequence and simplify it. So I need two things for the formula. I need the first term and I need the common difference. So let's start with the first term. That would just be negative 13. So a1 
will be negative 13. And now I need the common difference. So let's figure out the pattern here. So to go from negative 13 to negative 11, I would add two. To go from negative 11 to negative nine, I would add two. To go from negative nine to negative seven, I would add two. So the common difference is two. So now I have everything to write my formula. My formula is an equals a1 plus n minus one times the common difference. So let's plug in the first term, negative 13, and the common difference, 2, and then we will simplify. So a n equals the first term, negative 13, plus n minus 1 times the common difference of 2. And now I just need to simplify this. First thing I'm going to do is distribute. So I get a n equals negative 13, 2 times n is 2n, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And now I just need to combine like terms, and I get a n equals 2n minus 15. So I have my formula, now I'm going to use the formula to find the 17th term. Let me write the formula up here, it was a n equals 2n minus 15. So to find the 17th term, all I will do is 2 times 17 minus 15. So 2 times 17 minus 15 is 19. So the 17th term is 19. Okay, let's look at number three. We are going to write a formula, simplify it, and then use it to find the 10th term. So the first thing that I need is the first term. First term is two. And the second thing I need is the common difference. So let's figure out what the pattern is here. So to go from negative two, or to go from positive two to negative seven, I believe I would subtract nine. Negative seven to negative 16, I subtract nine, and negative 16 to negative 25, I subtract nine. So the common difference is negative nine. And now I can write my formula, a n equals a one plus n minus one times the common difference. So I just need to substitute in two for the first term and negative nine for the common difference. So it will be a n equals the first term two plus n minus one and I'm gonna put a times negative nine here, so I know that I'm not subtracting nine, I'm multiplying by that common difference of negative nine. And now I'm going to distribute the negative nine since I'm multiplying and make sure that you are careful about this negative times a negative right here. So let's distribute. I get a n equals two plus negative nine times n is negative nine n. And then negative one times negative nine is positive nine. And now I just need to combine like terms. So I get a n equals, I'm gonna put the negative nine n first, and then two plus nine is 11. So there was the formula a n equals negative nine n plus 11. And this time it wanted us to find the 10th term, so I'm gonna substitute in 10 for n, and I get negative nine times 10 plus 11. Negative nine times 10 plus 11 is negative 79. So the 10th term of the sequence is negative 79. All right, number four, we're going to write the formula, simplify it, and then find the 25th term of the sequence. So let's start with the first term. Looks like the first term is 10. And now I need the common difference, the pattern in this sequence. So to go from 10 to 7.5, I would subtract 2.5. And to go from 7.5 to five, I would subtract 2.5. And to go from 5 to 2.5, I would subtract 2.5. So our common difference is negative 2.5. So now I can substitute into the formula an 
equals a1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. First term is 10. Common difference is negative 2.5, so let's substitute those in. And I get a n equals the first term of 10 plus n minus 1 times the common difference of negative 2.5. Now I'm going to distribute the negative 2.5, so I get a n equals 10, and then negative 2.5 times n is negative 2.5 n. And negative 2.5 times negative 1 is positive 2.5. And now I just need to combine like terms, and 10 plus 2.5 is 12.5. So the final simplified version will be a n equals negative 2.5n plus 12.5. So there is the formula, a n equals negative 2.5n plus 12.5. And we can use this to find the 25th term of the sequence. So I'm just going to replace n with 25. I will do negative 2.5 times 25 plus 12. So negative 2.5 times 25 plus 12 is negative 50.5. So the 25th term of the sequence is negative 50.5. All right, let's look at number five. It says Callie collects stickers and has 27 stickers in her collection. Each year she adds to her collection as shown in the sequence below. If she continues to follow this pattern, what will the seventh term in the sequence be? So we need two terms or two things to write our sequence. We need the first term, which they gave us. It's 27. And we need the common difference, which we can find. To go from 27 to 52, I'm not sure what I add, so let me subtract. Okay, looks like we add 25. Let me make sure that's what we do here. 52 plus 25 should be 77, yes. And then 77 plus 25 should be 102, which it is. So common difference is 25. So now that we have those two things, we can write our sequence a n equals a 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So to find any term in the sequence, we'll take the first term, 27, and we'll do plus n minus 1 times 25. So now we will distribute the 25 and we'll get a n equals 27 plus 25n minus 25. And then when we combine like terms, we get a n equals 25n plus 2. And then they wanted us to find the seventh term of the sequence, so we will just plug in 7. So to find the seventh term, we're going to do 25 times 7 plus 2, and we get 177. Okay, number six says, given the recursive formula below, write an explicit formula to represent the arithmetic sequence and simplify it. Then use the formula to find the 16th term. So we could like make a table here and we know that the first term is six and then we could add 3.2 16 times. But that's gonna take a really long time and that's a lot of calculations. We might make some mistakes. So it's gonna be a lot easier if we turn this into an explicit formula so that we can just plug in 16. And you only need two things to write the explicit formula. You need the first term, which we have, it's six. And you need the common difference, which we have, it's 3.2. So I can easily turn this in to an explicit formula. A n equals a one plus n minus one times the common difference. Common difference was 3.2 and the first term is six. So let's substitute those in. A n equals our first term of six 
plus n minus 1 times the common difference of 3.2. So now let's distribute, and I get a n equals 6 plus 3.2 n minus 3.2. And now I just need to combine like terms, and I get 6 minus 3.2 that I need to combine. So a n equals 3.2 n, and then 6 minus 3.2 is 2.8. So there is our formula, and now I can use it to find the 16th term. To find the 16th term, I will just substitute in 16 for n and 3.2 times 16 plus 2.8 is 54. 